When insurance companies and home contractors don't exactly see eye to eye, it costs you a whole lot of money. Yeah, that's what some families in Washington County are learning after severe weather rolled through. Jenna Sachs has their problem in tonight's Contact 6 report. On April 19th, 2023, severe storms dropped hail across Washington County. Fox 6 viewers sent these videos and pictures as people like Nicole and John Mazayas in Jackson. That front porch was a big pile of hail. Surveyed the damage. We saw our back patio just peppered with granules. Granules from their roofs shingles. So they called a trusted contractor for his opinion. So when he went up there, he said, that's hail damage. The couple says State Farm sent out an adjuster who agreed. Yes, exactly what you'd expect in a two hour storm. But then they say State Farm sent out a second adjuster who came to a different conclusion. He came down and said there was no damage. Nicole and John are among four families who wrote to contact six, saying State Farm either lowballed or denied their roof damage claims following spring and summer hailstorms. All were told by local contractors they do have significant hail damage. I don't get very angry very often. <laughs> I, I was very angry. John and Nicole have a $31,000 estimate from one company for repairs and a roof replacement. State Farm's estimate? $700 in damages. State Farm tells Contact 6 it seeks to provide our customers all benefits to which they are entitled within the terms of the insurance policy. State Farm says since last spring, it's received nearly 3,500 catastrophe claims in Wisconsin, excluding auto, and paid out nearly $50 million. We're seeing a rise in catastrophic losses due to extreme weather. Scott Holman of the Insurance Information Institute says in four of the last five years, homeowners insurance has been unprofitable for insurers, so premiums are rising. State Farm ranked Wisconsin number six for hail damage costs in 2022. Society in general doesn't want insurance companies paying for things that aren't needed because that's going to eventually raise the price for everyone. The Wisconsin Office of the Commissioner of Insurance got 38 complaints about roof and hail damage claims in 2022. 21 of those complaints about State Farm. It's becoming increasingly frustrating. Don and Donya Groves in Hartford say their roof was damaged during the same April 9th storms. We submitted all of this to State Farm. The Groves got multiple estimates, putting their damage at $20,000 or higher. One even said it was a slam dunk. Yet State Farm sent the Groves a check for a fraction of the contractor's estimates. I'm seeing my neighbor 50 feet away on either side of my house getting brand new roofs across the street getting brand new roofs. It's a frustration others share. And the sound of tap, tap, tap every morning was just gut-wrenching. State Farm said both families had some soft metal damage. As for their roofs, it had different explanations for how the damage could have happened, like roof blistering and trapped moisture instead of hail. State Farm tells us each claim is handled on its own merits and coverage for hail damage is usually part of a homeowner's policy. I'm Jenna Sachs, Contact 6.